Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Sonic Heroes, and today we are doing the Rail Canyon section of Darkseid, and this one is going to be quite the entertaining one now, isn't it? More than likely, I mean, it's just going to end up like it always is. I did die quite a bit, so there will be scenes that I have to cut out. There, there are some that I don't cut out because they're just too short and like too close to the checkpoints. So I was like, why not? No, I don't leave them in. So, alright. Just like it always is, there's really no change to this whatsoever, so I might just end up going off topic or something in this video. I uh, I wanted to make a rant video like last night, but I was like, no, fuck it, I'm, I'm too tired for this shit. I'm like, I, I don't feel like it anymore. I kind of just kind of calmed down a bit from yesterday, and I was like, ah, there's no point. So, I might just do what my original idea was and just make a rant here. If anything, like a super... Well, when I say small rant, it probably won't end up being a small rant. Like, whatsoever. Thing is, like, yes well, speaking of yesterday, I actually did do commentary, but that was for Bayonetta, and I was tired of shit. But it's funny because I think my commentary is better because I was actually focused on the game rather than just talking about other dumb shit that didn't need to be talked about. So, maybe that might have helped, I don't know. I'm pretty tired this morning. Luckily, I have like a four-day weekend, so I can get most of this stuff done. Thank goodness. But, anyway, um, I should probably just talk about what I wanted to talk about. So, just a, a warning for you guys. This video might just be like a rant video. I mean, at this point, probably I wouldn't... I, I You know, I wouldn't put it aside, of course. Knowing me, you know, know how I am. I mean, things are probably going to get pretty bad. So... Basically, I want to talk about, and I, I I talked about it yesterday with my friend, and I, you know it's just kind of pointless to keep talking about it more often because it just it's I'm not getting anywhere with it, so it's just annoying. But what I basically want to say is, I think I finally had it with watching the Nostalgia Critic. I think I'm finally just done because his content now, to me personally, is garbage. And I'm, okay. Say this now, if there's any YouTubers I talk about at all on this channel or just anywhere in general, it's only because I have a dislike for them or or I have my own reasons to say what I have to say. Now, most of the time I might be wrong about what I say. You know, I might get some things wrong, yeah. But what I'm going to say about the Nostalgia Critic might piss off some people. So don't take it the wrong way. I'm not hating him because, you know, I hate his community or anything like that, no. I just am hating on him as a content creator, not exactly. I'm also not hating on him personally either, because he seems like a really nice guy. So, you know, he seems like a really cool, respectable guy, and I can respect him, but I just cannot enjoy his content anymore. So anyway, I want to just get this said right now. What happened was he uploaded his newer episode reviewing the older Tomb Raider movie. Like the first one with Angelina Jolie, who basically looks like she's got fucking... Uh, what, I, I don't know. She just... She's disgusting looking. Uh, I'm sorry, but she really is. She just has those fucking huge ass lips that just... I uh, just want to punch. They look like fucking balloons that were blown up, you know? It's just... It's nasty. That's not attractive to me whatsoever. It, it just... It's not. It's disgusting. So, that's just my opinion, of course. Other people think it's attractive, I do not. Same thing with like excessive amounts of makeup, it's just it's... You look fucking fake. Anyway, so... He was... Uh, okay, he started off the... the I, I barely made it through the video. I watched the video twice, and I still barely made it through it. So he was talking about... Um, as if he was in a dream at first. Like he was a kid in the 90s, you know, like a horny like 14 year old teenager. And then his co-star, Tamra, walks in, playing, you know, Tomb Raider or Laura Croft. Uh, I just want to say right now that I don't hate Tamra at all. I think she's a really cool person, too. I just think her acting is just abysmal sometimes, most of the time. Same thing with the critic, and same thing with uh, Malcolm, or whatever his name is. I think that's his name. Basically, his other co-star that he brought in. He's had him there for years, but he was never really, like, a co-star until, like, recently. So this is all like after the Nostalgia Critic Rebirth, as they call it. So, I guess after the whole demo reel thing fucked up, this is when he decided to start doing Nostalgia Critic again. 
And that just went to shit, I think, personally. Okay, so... Basically, they have this... I, I do not recommend watching the video at all. I highly do not recommend it. So... They had this really, really, really poor animated face that they were using for Tamara as more cropped, and it just was disgusting. It pissed me off so hard. They gave her, you know, pointy tits and all that stuff, and we're making fun of a joke that's been made fun of for I don't know how many fucking years. And that's another problem I want to get into, too, is the critic is so far behind in the times, it's not even funny. Like... His last review that he did before this one, which I think was the Last Jedi review, he made a shooting stars joke. Yeah, you know that meme that died off like last year, months ago? Months ago? Yeah. He fucking made it. He made that meme. He he uses memes he has no idea how to fucking use properly. It's disgusting. And it pisses me it it I hate that shit. I hate normie memes. It's just disgusting to me. I'm sorry, but it's just, it's annoying when you see a meme that's been dead for fucking months and then somebody uses it again. So, yeah, that's that. Um, so, you know, he was making jokes, yada, 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 about, you know, pointy boobs being a horny teenager in the 90s, whatever. And then he wakes up, and then he, you know, he begins a review. And I was thinking, like, okay, this is fucking, like, I barely even got through, like, the beginning part of it. So I stopped watching, and I came back, and I... I continued off where I left off at, which was basically the review part of it. And so I started watching that a tad bit, and he said something stupid. He said something like, uh, he was making fun of, like, Tomb Raider fans with the movie and stuff. He's, I guess people were mad because the movie wasn't like Tomb Raider, and he's like, what's it supposed to be like, you know? What, it's supposed to have, like, giant monsters and, and dinosaurs all over the place? It's like, you know, Tomb Raider's more than just that, right? Like, I mean... <laughs> It, it, it just, it goes to show to me, it, I know it's a joke, but to me, it just goes to show that he did not do any fucking research at all, or just even play the games. And the first time I ever really fucking despised the critic, and this has a hand in the reason why I hate Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, this, it, this right here has a hand in it too. He made a fucking Comstock joke. He made multiple Bioshock jokes after Bioshock Infinite came out because clearly he played it and he wanted to make sure that everybody else knows that he played it and he liked it oh oh as we all know I don't really like Bioshock Infinite that much I, I just story wise I don't I fucking hate it I fucking hate it what they did was they ruined something I enjoyed in my opinion of course, you know, I will keep saying that. Like, this is my complete opinion. So anything I say is all on me, not you guys. If you enjoy Infinite, that's fine. I can see why. I understand why. I'm just saying from the bottom of my fucking soul that I fucking despise it. But I like the gameplay enough to where I'll actually play it again. I'll play it multiple times, but only just for the gameplay. I don't give a fuck about the story. I don't give a fuck about the characters except for Booker. And that's it. That's literally it. Because then the game jumps into this whole, like, you know, race AGM all over the place kind of thing. And it just got really obnoxious. And speaking of that, uh, fucking... The other reason I don't like the critic, especially nowadays, is the whole SJW kind of feel to it now. Where every time there's a woman being portrayed in a movie or anything like that, they have to talk about that. I mean... I was reading on Reddit, like, yesterday, like, you know, people were talking about, like, you know, like, defending it, like, well, it's because, you know, he's in that kind of industry, you know, he's talking about movies, which, you know, portray women a lot, so, yeah, he's gonna have to talk about some of the feminist stuff. It's like, well, I don't think he has to. I, I don't think he needs to. There's no, he's, he's making it seem like he's a complete fucking cuck for saying it. Like, if you're all for, like, you know that feminist stuff, whatever, but just don't shove it down my throat, you know? It's the same thing with religion. Like, I don't care what you believe, just don't shove it down my fucking throat. I don't care if you're a leftist, rightist, whatever you want to fucking call yourselves. I don't give a shit. Just don't make your content just that. It's disgusting. It really is. It's annoying. It, it is. I don't know. 
I mean, I don't care what... It, it's the same thing with Linkara. Like, people were getting pissed off at Linkara, like, a long time ago because he's a Republican. It's like, who the fuck cares? Who the fuck honestly gives a shit? Besides you assholes. So that clearly goes to show that you guys cannot agree to disagree. And that was the other thing that, that basically ruined most of, like, Channel Hawesome back then, too, which is what Nostalgia Critic is a part of, was Channel Hawesome. And, you know... Back then, he had his own website, That Guy With The Glasses. And he had multiple people on there, like Angry Joe, The Amazing Atheist, The Angry Video Game Nerd. You name it. He had a lot of, like, big names that were a part of that channel. And a lot of them left for different reasons. And, I mean, then there was a whole, like, you know, the major part of it, like the Channel Hawesome part of it, which was, you know, like, Nostalgia Jake and all of them. And I've heard that she was a feminist as well, but I heard that she's actually pretty cool in real life. So, I'll let that one pass. I mean, as long as she doesn't shove it down my throat in real life, you know, it's like, okay. Same thing with their content. You know, again, most of the people I'm talking about, I, you know, they seem like really nice people. Except for Spoonie. He seems like a piece of shit. So, there's, there are, there are those that seem like pieces of shit, but there are people that I just, I don't care for. Same thing with, um, what's his name? Uh, something Guru. I always forget his name. Larry, uh, Gary Lou, uh, Guru Larry, I think that's his name. I heard that he was a he was a pro Gamergate or something like that. And I'm not like full understanding what Gamergate is, but even then, like as soon as I seen that, I'm like, I still like his stuff. You know, even if I was like against the Gamergate thing or whatever, which I don't even know what it really much is, I just didn't pay attention. So with all that stuff, you know, it's like I don't care. You know, what whatever. Why does that matter to me? It doesn't make him worse. The same thing, like, if somebody was an, if somebody actually was an SJW and they didn't treat other people like pieces of shit because they didn't believe what they believe, I'd be fine with that. I, I wouldn't care. I really wouldn't care. Like, you're a really nice guy. It's the same thing with me. Like, do you, do you see me shoving down my fucking views down people's throats? Yeah, I talk about what I talk about all, a lot. You know, I talk about how I feel a lot. But I'd never, ever tell people, like, hey, you should believe what I say. Like, you, or, you know, in that way. The only time I ever say, like, you should believe what I say is whenever I'm, you know, playing a game and I'm like, I didn't fucking die there. It's like, you guys should believe me. Or just, you know, small things like that. I never tell people, like, they should believe in a certain religion. They should believe a certain way. That's just stupid. Because that's completely hypocritical. I mean, yeah, I do have that issue where I want to try to stir people to believing, like, you know, this game's bad or this person's bad. You know, I always have that issue where I tend to do that with my, you know, the way I talk. But, at the end of the day, you know, I always tell people, like, whether or not you like them or not doesn't matter, you know. I'm telling you what I think about them, or what I think about this person, or this, you know, particular thing. So, take it as you will, that's it. And, I want to try to be like that all the time. You know, I really want to express that all the time, is that you guys have your own opinions. You don't have to listen to mine. I mean, it's just what it is. You know, I always try to find a middle ground. That's why I, I think I can say that, you know, I respect the critic is because I'm not going to go like, oh, wow, just because I don't like one video, he's automatically a piece of shit. The thing is, he's, okay, this is with his content, not himself. I don't care about, you know, him, like, I, he's fine for what he's doing. I don't care, you know, personally, so whatever, he seems like he's all right. Yeah, some of the conventions seem kind of awkward, but who cares? He seems like a genuinely, genuinely nice guy. There you go. It, again, his content just fucking pisses me off. His jokes are just unfunny, and the skits are just so annoying, because they do it every fucking episode now. It's really obnoxious. Like, it wasn't funny to begin with. It's not funny now. So, anyway. Uh, fuck. How the hell was I going to word this? Shit, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So... His content, in my opinion, has been trash for years. Like, ever since he came back and started doing, doing Nostalgia Critic, when he had Tamra and Malcolm join, you know. I mean, the first few episodes were like, okay, it's whatever, you know, maybe they'll disappear for a while. Maybe they're just like extra YouTubers or something he had, you know, joining him like he did before, in the past. And then they stayed there the whole time. It's like, okay, these guys really aren't that funny sometimes, you know. Speaking of Malcolm, he seems like a really, really, really cool guy behind the scenes, though. I've seen, I've actually watched some of the behind the scene videos, and they're really cool. 
Actually, it's funny because I'd rather watch that sometimes than watch an actual fucking critic episode because it's funny watching them interact with each other and having a good time rather than watching them making fucking shitty skits, you know? And the special effects are bad, the animations are bad, which of course I can't animate myself, so I can't really like hark on them too bad for that one, but still, you, you've been doing this for years, you should at least be a little bit better at this, you would think. So... Ugh, fuck. Yeah, like... He, I don't know, I can't exactly pinpoint when it started. Exactly, like when his first video came out that I just did not enjoy. It's hard to say, because I, I really don't know myself. But, I know it wasn't long ago. It was like a year or two, maybe three years ago. I, I don't know how long it was. The years just go by so quick. It, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, what you want to do right here is just use cast control, and then you can push this back, and then all you really get out of it is a key. So, if you wanted this, you can go for it. You don't have to. I basically fuck it up to where I die. And I tried to go back, and then I just didn't do it. So I did I did die there. But what it unlocks is that door right there. So there you go. Anyway, I started not liking his content for a long time. The skits were just unfunny. Some of the reviews were okay. Sometimes it was funny. Sometimes it just wasn't. Like, sometimes it was, you know, hit or miss, basically. And to me now, I don't think he's recovering from this. I, I think he's just gone so far off the fucking deep end with me. That I'm just pissed off. And I hate to say it. Because I know I'm a, I'm a millennial as well. And I hate this word so fucking much. But I feel offended. I, I You know. I, as funny as that sounds. I know. It's just. A part of me just feels like I'm offended. Like I. I want to like your content. But I can't because you're making it so bad. That I'm offended that you would even go this far. This deep. And make it this bad to, for me, you know? I, I know I'm just one guy. There's multiple people that don't like him, of course. But, you know, my my words cannot, you know, basically persuade anybody into not liking him. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to say what I think. It's just I'm pissed off. <laughs> you know, I'm really pissed. Just, he ruined a show. He ruined a YouTube channel that I liked watching is what I feel like. Not himself, but, you know, it just, what the, well, it's not, it, it honestly isn't just him, it's his brother too. His brother, I think, is an asshole. I straight up think he's a fucking cuck, you know, big time. I don't care about his brother. His dad seems pretty cool. You know, the critic himself, Doc Walker, seems pretty cool. His brother, no, not, no, not in the slightest. I think he's a piece of shit. That's just my personal opinion again. I say that like a thousand times, but I mean it. I mean it when I say it, I'm talking like, you know, I'm talking about me, guys, not you guys. So, yeah, basically, uh, I said that like five fucking times, didn't I? I said that, so, and so many other things. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, really. It's just, I feel like he's been going downhill for a long time. He hasn't, like, completely dropped off yet. But I feel like he's getting to that point where I, I'm hoping that he does. And the problem is, this also goes with YouTube as well. It's the whole PC thing. Like, everybody has to be so fucking PC nowadays. I'm getting I'm getting really tired of it. You know, it's really obnoxious that everything has to be PC nowadays. I fucking hate it. Now, granted, I try my best to be professional, especially when it comes to, like, you know, hardcore in. So, you know, people are going to get mad. People are going to unsub to this. But I'm just pointing out how I feel, you know. The fuck was that noise? Oh, uh, something's moving around. It's really kind of creeping me out. So, anyway, going off topic of that, we probably should because I might be on there for like hours on end. I feel better about it now, but at first I was just so mad and offended. I don't know how I feel now. I think I'm just back to normal. Like, I'm just like, I don't care anymore. You know, so I probably will, I probably won't unsub. I'll probably just watch it like every once in a while. I'm, I'm, I should try to at least watch the entire video. Because I know that's what people are going to say. They're going to be like, Well, you didn't watch the whole thing, so you can't say anything. Well, maybe if I do watch the whole thing, I can still, you know, make my opinion. And still make it matter, you know. I can still say what I want to say. Regardless, I feel like. I, I don't know for sure. But, in other words, I recently bought, because I've been hearing about it. Like, but I don't know if it was the actual game that I was hearing about, but I heard somebody mention something about like a Captain America game that was pretty good. 
So I've been playing Wolverine for, you know, Platinum that. And somebody said something, like, something about, like, Captain America's a good game, too. So I found a copy of it at GameStop for, like, 20 bucks. I was like, alright, I'll pick it up. So, picked it up, put it in, played it for a little bit, and I was like, this is... Okay, this... It's not bad, but it's not good. Like, it's... It's not as good as Wolverine, that's for sure. But it has that sense of, like, funny stupid to it that I actually find entertaining. Like, it's one of those games where I can play it, for sure, and possibly even platinum it. But it's just, it's so goddamn stupid. <laughs> I don't know how to how to put it. Like, to me, it feels like one of those games I could easily play with my buddies, and we'd all have a good laugh. Maybe. I mean, I don't know if they would, but, you know, hey, it's possible. Oh, by the way, pro tip, if ever you're doing this, these boss fights, the best character to probably fight with is if you can get your flying character, like level 3, you can basically just destroy these guys. But you have to keep running around multiple tracks to do that, so. That's what I think the game wants you to do. I think they want you to keep running around and getting the upgrades for it, but I just don't do that because I don't care. You know, I know it would probably take me less time to do it, but I don't know, I... I always have this stupid ass mentality of like just you know beat him down with a power character for some reason to me that feels like a good idea even though it probably is. But anyway, that's pretty much the Hey Albatross. He's not super hard. We fought him before plenty of times, and we'll do it again twice over. So yeah, fun, fun. Thing is, after this video, I gotta go render Bayonetta next episode. I have like two episodes left of that to go. Well, I have to render this one episode, and then I have two more after that to commentate for, and then I'm done. And then I can do Master Ninja, or get David's Pikmin going, and then I can do Master Ninja mode, and then finally do Bioshock Infinite. Which I'm sure people are probably getting pissed off, like, dude, you keep quitting Bioshock Infinite, like, you keep pushing it further and further away. Why? Well, it's just like, I don't want to play it right now. I, that, I just don't like playing it very often, so. I don't know, maybe when I actually play it, I'll probably have fun. You know, that that's usually what happens, it's like, I'll play it, and I'm like, alright. Just right now, I just want other things to get out of the way first, too. And, like, other things are popping up and out of nowhere. I've beaten other games out of nowhere. And it's like, okay, well, now I want to do this while it's fresh on my mind. You know, instead of having to wait, like, you know, a whole year and come back and my ass destroyed. So, that's that. This cutscene plays, and we go to Frog Force next. So, yeah, we're pretty much almost done. We have, like, three more levels to go. And that's it. Three more zones, technically. And, oh, my gosh, there's a robot. Oh, oh, oh. That's the only way you can really explain it after two. So anyway, guys, see you all next time. So take care, everybody.